Hi, um, this is fair use, educational and commentary purposes. Um, although that only applies to person, I'm not a person, I'm a man. Um, I'm not a legal person, I'm a man. It's um, the Open University, which is here in the UK. I don't know if it's anywhere else in the world, I don't know. I know you can do it here in the UK. It's an online like university thing. It's been for years. The Open University develops world's first COVID-19 digital immunity passport. And that was on the 24th of April, 2020. It says the tech experts from the Open University have developed the world's first digital application to certify COVID-19 immunity test results. Researchers from the OU Knowledge Media Institute have created a prototype mobile phone app that enables instant verification of tamper-proof coronavirus test results and vaccination certificates. Immunity passports backed by government, apparently. Which is backed by a fucking pink unicorn, to be honest. Um, it's just fucking legitimate. In recent weeks, the government has been discussing plans to help the British public get back to work, particularly frontline staff who have already recovered from the virus, and the use of immunity passports to verify fitness to work. Although immunity tests are a work in progress, immunity passports have been hailed as a step in the right direction in getting people back to a sense of normalcy. If, what we had, if people think what we had before was normal, then you, you seriously are fucking mentally ill. Because that wasn't fucking normal. I wouldn't want to go back to that. Simple and straightforward, the OU's prototype can be used by frontline staff and the public alike to prove they have antibodies and therefore immunity to coronavirus. All at the touch of a button. Using the app, pharmacists and GPs can carry out tests in their practice. And, and issue digital certificates through the app, which can then be used by the patient and user to prove immunity. Personal information is only stored at the patient's discretion and allows them to selectively present specific test results with no other personal information revealed. Speaking on the new mobile phone app, Professor John Dominink, or Dominq, or whatever, Dominink, director of the OU's Knowledge Media Institute, said. Like many researchers, the OU's blockchain team and blockchains um, connected to Bitcoin cryptocurrency, that, that uses blockchain. They've been highly motivated to contribute to resolving this global pandemic. It's not a global pandemic, is it really, to be honest? Because we don't live on a globe for one, and for two, it's a plandemic, a scamdemic. Because we, we all know, we've all seen all the evidence that they're inflating the numbers and everything else. We have been looking at how our existing technology could be repurposed to aid immunity certification. Our app, building on several years of research into decentralised certification, is readily scalable, applicable, generically, and waiting in the wings for immunity testing to be in full effect. Developed from blockchain technology, the app provides ver verification and privacy while ensuring that end users remain in complete control of their data. Digital certificate is secure and tamper-proof by design, with a number of measures included in the verification process. For example, the end user will have to provide proof of ID. Well, what proof of ID are you going to prove? You're going to put forward because you, you can't put any ID forward because it, it, it's fraudulent to do so. Because at the end of the day, you'd have to use your pass, your birth certificate, right? That's not to be used for identity purposes. It says so on the bottom, and it's crown copyright, right? You can't use your passport or your driving license because you've had to use a fraudulent, you've had to use a document that's not meant for ID, not to be used for ID purposes, i.e. your birth certificate to get your passport or your or your driving license. So it, it's all fraudulent anyway, so what, what ID would you use? You'd have to commit fraud, wouldn't you? Before testing and a permanent digital fingerprint of the double signed certificate is placed on the blockchain, which is used by a verifier such as an employer to check authenticity. The mobile app currently undergoing testing will be available and can be applied to other COVID-19 certification scenarios. For example, the verification for key workers to travel. See, verification for key workers to travel. For people who are recently tested clear of the virus and proof of vaccinations if and when they appear. For more information on digital immunity certification, read the submitted OU paper at blockchain. So we'll go to this blockchain here quickly just to show you that blockchain is to do with... I'm not gonna. I'll, I'll leave a link to these anyway, but it's not that we're looking at. It's 
blockchain, but in recent years the open source code of the Bitcoin blockchain has been taken and extended by many groups to expand its capabilities. So it's under so the blockchain is most commonly known as a technology underpinning the Bitcoin cryptocurrency. So it's connected to that. Alright. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye.